Last episode, I ended by wrapping up something like at least 25 hours over at Anglers, just very single-mindedly pushing them out. And now I've gotten 53% of this level just at minnows. And man, I, I remember thinking 100k minnows was a lot. And I feel like this is, did not take me very long at all. I feel like it's totally feasible to go for 99 fishing at minnows. But I do want to get Karambon still, although I am tempted to stay here for a while. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'll kind of shoot to have a similar amount of Karambon to sharks. So uh, I'm approaching 120k minnows here, which would be 3,000 sharks. And to finish off the level, I'd have to fish, I think, like 4k Karambon. So it'll probably look more like 3,500 of each or about. I'm just keeping an eye on the skill calculator. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll check in soon. 140,000 minnows will give me <clears throat> 3,500 sharks. I have just about 3,500 caramboan to catch, and I will have 90 fishing. Any second now, I'll be hitting 90 fishing. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Chiron, I guess that's in raids. All right. So I guess if I got one more level, I could boost for the Mauritania Elite Diary, but I'm not really too worried about that right now. I'm mainly just looking to have that nice shiny number. And I don't really care about finishing this inventory. Let's go see what I got in the bank. As we can see up here, there's the 2,500 anglers. I had some shark already in the bank that I forgot about, so I actually have over 4,000 shark, just under 3,500 carambuan, and I don't know, bunkfish from Cave Kraken. I didn't know you could just click the clay oven. I've been using the fish on the oven for a while. I feel like you had to do that before. I feel like this is kind of new, maybe in the last few months or something, because... I'm just wasting clicks, man. This is so much more chill. Not clicking the fish and clicking the oven and just clicking the oven. Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Well, I totally missed getting 94 cooking because I was I was out and just cooking on mobile. So I didn't even notice. Now that I can't burn shark, I'm going to go do the... Uh, how do I get up here? Yay. I'm going to go cook these sharks in here, and I want to try doing Carambon here. And if I'm burning too many, I'll just go back to Hosidius. There's something weird about cooking gauntlets not helping raw Carambon unless you're in Hosidius kitchen. Like, they have no effect on them otherwise, which is weird. I don't know why it's like that, but I'm going to figure it out. There it is. 95 cooking. Summer pies couple hundred sharks left, basically all the carambon. Moving on. Next XP drop will be 96 cooking. Any any second now. <clears throat> I actually I don't really know how this works. What if I like go in, come out? <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Uh, what is it? 15 seconds? Maybe I just jumped the gun. Whatever. I know it's coming though. Uh, what am I doing, man? I got wines. I got unfermented wines, man. They're ready. Just give me it. Yeah, okay. There it is, 96 cooking. I will not be talking to the frogs. I'll be moving on to thieving, I do believe. Thieving, I think, is what I want to do. Good, good times here. Good times. Just, uh... Getting my first thieving level of the spree here. Now, I didn't, uh, I wasn't sure what I really wanted to do. So I'd, I tried Pyramid Blunder for a little bit and just wasn't jiving with me. And so I, I think this is a good alternative. 84 thieving. 
feel like I'm being more useful. I'm definitely going to spend some time at Master Farmer in the course of getting to 90. The XP, I think, is... I'll have to see again, but it's quite a bit less than doing the knights here. So we'll find out. 84 Thief. Almost 2050 total. Ooh. <laughs> I've had my wood set to normal wood for quite a while, collecting maples so I get more bird's nests. And so I just came here and got my approval up, checked my allocation, and I, you know, I think I mentioned I'm going to switch back to mahogany. Try to put some of that GP back into scaling somehow, even though construction's kind of worthless. I mean, I guess the uh, cape's pretty cool, but whatever. I had it on maple. It's been on maple for a few days or whatever. Came here, changed my allocation, and then checked, and now I have mahogany logs. Like a few days worth of mahogany logs, but I just changed it to mahogany just now. So, what up with that? Seriously, can you just change it right at the end like that? And felt I I would have figured like if you would have changed the allocation, you know, it like you build the stuff up as you go. But it seems like maybe it just sees like okay, you've had this much approval rating like it does its little algorithm for how much you should get of whatever resource and they can just apply it to whichever one you have selected at the time that you collect because i did it i literally just changed it to mahogany just now i already have said that 10 times but fucking weird right pretty fucking weird this is like a new cool place to be messing around with this arty night is in the what is it south bank of ardone Ardon. but there's like a there's a hundred million people here and i think it was because there were so many people that the knight's model kept blinking in and out and then you click through them and you run outside and it's pretty annoying using rune light i did the entity hider for i did the entity hider for uh players and after i did that now he's not blinking out at all, and I can do this freely and always have good sight on him. So, a little tip for you. 85th even coming in. I have been trying to do my herb runs. Beautiful. Hmm, elf pickpocket. So I've been doing my herb runs, and haven't really been doing birdhouses. Uh, I might mix them back in some, but really I'm just looking for them herbs. I have quite, a, I had quite a few of uh, Snapdragon and Renar seeds, so I'm just burning through them. Yep. I'm, uh, yeah, I think I'm stick, sticking, sticking with thieving, trying to get to 90 still, so cool. And 2050 total. Ooh. I've done about half this level at Master Farmer, and I'm just closing it out here at this night before I got to go to work in like five fucking minutes. Um, I was really close, so Figured I'd just knock it out real quick, but I gotta get the clip. Gotta get the clip. Should be any second now, maybe. Okay. Beautiful. 86 thieving. I think I'm gonna do more knight and farmer splits. I am working on some of my quorum seeds. I'm, yeah, probably, probably more knights, because I wanna burn through some of my quorums. Yeah, mm hmm. I honestly, I have no fucking idea. It's just, it's just gonna happen how it's gonna happen. But I just plan on doing my herb runs and farming stuff. So I went through all my Renar, so now I have over a thousand something Renar weeds and what, like 700, 600 uh, snaps. Cool. 87th even coming up. I have just been running herbs, played a little bit of Skyrim to do a little something different, and yeah, nothing really too crazy. Enjoy. Oh, there it goes. Came and went. Moving on up. Feels good. Do 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 do. Eighty eight. Yeah. It's a beautiful day here. Just getting that. Uh, tasty little. Should be hitting 90 thieving here in just a moment. Oh, it came and went. So I stayed the entirety of level 89 here at Master Thief, Master Farmer. 
Master Farmer. And I pulled all my, I, with the exception of Toad Flax, I pulled all my seeds that I got. Um, I, mm, well, all the herb seeds at least. So I got 86 Ranar seeds. God damn, that's a fucking beauty right there. Yeah, that's like three mil, almost four mil of seeds. And, I, you know, I got a good little handful of the other ones that I care for. So I'm pretty, <laughs> I am actually pretty happy about that. That's sort of what I had in mind. I wanted to build up some seeds. So uh, mission accomplished. Now I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go. Kind of wanted to switch up from scaling for a little while and do some barrows, and I realized, oh, I'm really low on scales for, uh, you know, refilling the trident and blowpipe, my weapons of choice for doing barrows. The first kill I used my, you know, free life on, and it was like, damn, like, I didn't think I was doing that bad. And uh, then I checked, and I still had steel darts in my blowpipe, and I was like, oh, yeah, well, you know. And then... I just came back again and I I was doing every I felt like I was doing everything right. I got it down to all, like right before the jad phase and things were going chill. I was about to win and uh and I just kept taking damage and dying. I'm like what's going on? Like what's what is the deal with this? You know, I I figured let me just try turn, you know, messing with the recoil ring, the tort suffering ring and I had it disabled from when I was doing Kraken because <laughs> it just wastes charges on the tentacles when you use it at Kraken. So I had it off, which is the last task I was doing before. That's actually the last thing I fought before fighting Zolra here. So yeah, uh, it should go a lot smoother now. Uh, like it wasn't even occurring to me that the little minions weren't dying. Um, so cool. Now I should like be like a normal player in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that was... Uh, look at this. Triple Zolra scale drop, boy. What? 1,200 Zolra scales at a kill, man? What? What? So I was doing Zolra for a little while, and I originally was going to go to Barrows after I charged up my equipment. And I charged up my helm and my blowpipe, and... You know, I got some decent, a, a fair amount of runes for the trident, and I decided I wanted to go back to skilling. I might break up some of my skilling with doing Zolra and Barrows. It sounds so funny that I'm doing Barrows with, um, like, these stats and stuff, but I, re I really am just missing a shitload of pieces, so I need to get on that. And, uh, yeah, so I plan on doing... Blast mining, which is pretty decent XP an hour. I've never, you know, I didn't touch Lova Kench favor before, so I gotta finish that up. Mine sulfur for a while. It's really not too bad, honestly. I was trying to look into it because I don't do like raids and stuff. I don't have just a ton of dynamite in the bank, and I'm not gonna make my dynamite because I think that is too tedious. So my solution here is. I'm actually just going to buy them and bank them. And I'll buy like maybe like 500 at a time. So it's not, I don't feel like I'm going crazy just at the shop over and over again. And I don't necessarily want to, if I feel like this is way too click intensive and I just need to do something else, I don't have to feel like I just wasted a shitload of time uh, getting dynamite that I'm not going to use. So I'm just going to get a few hundred at a time. I think it's like, if you're really good, you can get over 200 an hour. So I'm just going to shoot for like, I'll get like 500 to 1,000 at a time. And I believe at that, at about 200 XP per dynamite, I'm like 14,000 dynamite away from 90 mining. That's sort of what I have in my head as the goal is 90 mining. And we'll see how I actually do with doing blast mining. I actually have no idea what the statue is supposed to look like. <clears throat> okay, they just throw rocks at it. All right. It's pretty cool. I can dig it. I think in general, I have the method down. There's still plenty of tweaks I can make to get slightly higher XP an hour. Oh, boy. 
So I switched back over to Motherload Mine, if you can see here. There's that first mining level. I really didn't uh, get too much experience at Blast Mine. I, I do like being able to do something a little more click intensive, but I'm a little sick right now. I just want to chill out, watch a show, and get, you know, decent XP. What we got? I mean, like, just under 40k an hour, it looks like. Bit of a random farming level here. I do believe 82 farming. Not doing herb runs super consistently, but I don't have an indefinite number of seeds. I think I'm up to 1,600, no, maybe 1,700 Renars now. By far the most I've ever had, so I'm pretty <laughs> stoked about that. I have 80, I believe I have 87 herb lore banked. I don't really want to do herb lore until I have 90 banked, just in my effort of getting 90, level 90 skills, so yeah. Oh, hooray. Oh, la -di da 84 mining. This pay dirt will be 85 mining. So now, I'll be getting runite from, from doing this. I'm gonna just exchange these pay dirt. I want to do a full load with my new 85 mining level, so I can see about how many, you know, just get a guesstimate of how much runite I'm gonna be getting. I got myself a full load. <laughs> okay, two rune ore. I, <laughs> I mean, I'd just got 85, so I really shouldn't expect like a whole, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> okay, there's another. Okay, so three. For some reason, I was thinking I'd get like 10. Okay, there's four. So I've done about uh, 35 Barrows chests uh, without getting an item, and then I just got a Varix Brassard. Chest count 584. Yeah, baby, it's a unique. Let's put that right in there. Oh, I have a full Varax set. Awesome. Oh, that's awesome. So this turn in here will be 86 mining once I fix these struts. Is that mine? Yay. 86. So I'm going to take a little break from mining. I'm still going to do a little PVM or something for, uh, I don't know, the evening. And I'll be back to mining. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, I think I finished. Completed Chamber of Zarek count is one. Oh my god, I've never done this shit before. I went into a raid one time uh, before and like killed Guardians. <laughs> a big whoop. I, <laughs> I just wanted to stick it through and see if I could finish. And uh, I more or less did alright, except for trying to kill Ohm. Let's see what garbage tier reward I get. Ugh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, it's so worth. Since I finished the Varax set, I thought, you know, maybe I should try some of the Wildy bosses. And I'm a total noob here, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. And so far, so good. Well, a bunch of people smited the fuck out of me. Who would have guessed? I I lost a Varix piece. Da, da, da. Luckily, I still have the piece that I lost. Or, you know, I still had an extra of the piece that I lost somehow. Jeez. That didn't take long at all, man. Shoot. What am I supposed to do, man? How do you deal with that? I don't know. I got tally blocked, man. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't do nothing, man. Alright, so I'm going to save myself the heartache of getting smited and losing a piece of Varax again and just ranged, and apparently this is really easy, so... Also, I didn't realize that there was a non-multi-zone right close by, so... Yep, the things you learn, you know? You gotta learn things sometimes. And I did. Got the red spider egg drop. Hey, <laughs> yeah, boy! Kill Kev 5. <laughs> This is 87 mining here. So I've been doing a little venonatus when I, you know, I'm up early enough to think I'm not going to get PK'd and stuff. I, I think I might have 15 kills or something. It it kind of ta it takes a while to kill him. My friend Young Wit here is about to get 99 fishing. I believe it's her first 99. Yeah, definitely can't see you there, Wit. I don't even know if I've ever done the Slayer emote. Look at that. There's the fishing emote. Look at that. You got yourself a fish. That's awesome. Congratulations. That is in the bank for ages. I just want to knock out this hard casket. 
Okay, ancient page and an ancient blessing, that's cute. Here we are arriving at 88 mining. <laughs> mining feels pretty slow, man. It feels pretty slow. It's not, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, frankly, but it still feels pretty slow. Collect what I have here and give you a little update on how much Smith and the shit I have banked. See what I'm see what I'm working with. It, it it seems like it has been pretty consistent that my mining level is staying even with my banked smithing level. So let's observe. I have 1.6 mil XP uh, banked for smithing with what you see here, and that will get me a good little chunk over level 88 smithing. So it appears you know I got just a bit. You know my my mining is just a little bit behind smithing, which is good. I'm totally okay with that because that means I can, you know, maybe do some power mining or something if, you know, to finish things off if I'm really losing my brain. Something else I've been keeping track of as well, I would like to hypothetically make all of these bars into darts because that would give me something to do while I train agility as well as give me plenty of ammo for the blowpipes. I'll never have to think about that, but mainly... Um, getting the XP for agility and fletching combined. I think I can get pretty close to 90 fletching. It might just be around like 88 or so. But currently I have, yeah, it's almost even with the smithing XP. It's like 1.6 million smithing or uh, fletching XP, which is like how many? I think I'm at like 150k darts or something if I were to make them all into that and I know it's going to take forever to turn them all into uh, you know to smith each individual bar but I I don't care I'm just going to be AFK chilling and do that so we're a good bit over 20 minutes now for the video I'm gonna to have to call it there I think I we managed to get 90 fishing a bunch of cooking levels went from 82 or 84 thieving up to 90 uh, I think we got a cheeky farming level. Uh, that might have been about it. I think we hit 2050 total and then just, <laughs> just skyrocketed right past it, which is really nice because we're, you know, we got a lot of, got a lot of total levels now to get like 10 in an installment here feels pretty good. So I am hoping to have a nice crescendo of skilling in the next video. I'll be finishing up 90 mining. I'm only about halfway through this level here. Finishing up 90 mining, I'll have 90 smithing banked by the end of that. I'll make all these dart tips. It should be around 200k darts, and hopefully that will get me close enough to 90 fletching where I'll just finish the rest with random logs that I have in the bank because I actually have 90 fletching banked and just maple logs, but I'm not going to do that, you know, with just maple logs. That's ridiculous. So I'll, and I got a bunch of magic logs, so I'll figure it out. I'll, I'm going to get 90 fletching one way or another. I am curious if 200k-ish darts will get me to 90 agility. I will be doing agility at the Relica course, so I get those marks of grace. Who knows? I might step into Brimhaven, but I'm getting kind of rambly here. Thanks a lot for joining me. If you managed to watch any of this video, it's awesome. It's really fun to chronicle my progress here, and I'm happy to share it with some people. So I'll check you later. We got the Hulk over here. <laughs> we got we got the green green we, we got the green lantern. We got the Hulk. We got Rick Turkin we got Rick Turkentine. <laughs> Rick Turkentine the Hulk man. Get out of here.